Hi everyone, today we're going to make a stained glass snowflake. We're going to use black paper instead of white. The black color represents the metal that holds a stained glass artwork together. And instead of using real glass, we're going to use tissue paper and we're going to glue it to the back of our artwork to make it look like stained glass art. Here are the materials you will need today. A piece of black paper, a pair of scissors, white colored pencil or regular pencil, a glue stick, and tissue paper, assorted colors. The first thing we need to do is to make this rectangle into a square. To do that, we're going to fold the paper diagonally. We're gonna bring this corner down here. This edge will be lined up with this edge. Crease it. So you see how you have this triangle shape. Next, we're going to cut off the skinny rectangle off the edge. All right, we don't need that rectangle anymore. And when we open it, you should have a square. Now that we have a square shape, we're going to fold the paper in half, corner to corner to make a triangle. We're going to fold it again, corner to corner to make an even smaller triangle. Crease along that fold line. One more time, corner to corner, fold it in half, make an even smaller triangle. Press down on that edge. And then this time we're gonna open it up again, unfold it so that we have that crease down the center. Turn your triangle so that it's pointing towards you. Now for this part, I'm going to draw in white colored pencil so you can see what the next step is. You don't have to do this drawing part. I'm going to retrace the folded line right down the middle with a vertical line. We're going to fold this side to the center, okay? Basically folding this part in half. So fold it up like this on the line. See, we took this edge and brought it to here. Okay, then I'm gonna take this triangle shape and fold it over here. Okay, so you end up with this shape. All right. Now I'm going to make a horizontal line across the top and we're gonna cut along this line, getting rid of these two top corners. All right, we don't need these pieces. Now that we have this small triangle, flip it over so that you have this folded part down the center. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here. All right, on this part, we're going to draw some lines that we're gonna cut out to make the holes, the openings of our snowflake. Okay, I like to start by cutting off the corners. So I'm going to draw a curved line here gonna draw a diagonal line for this corner and the bottom I'm just gonna make a horizontal line. Now you can draw with regular pencil for this part, okay? Drawing it first helps you know where to cut. On this part I'm going to make kind of like an upside down V. Then I'm gonna make this shape here, okay? I'm gonna make a V here and on this side I'm gonna make two half circles. The two like flipped over letter C's. You guys can make different lines if you want, different shapes. Just keep in mind, you don't wanna cut off all of the edge where it's folded. If you do that, the snowflake will fall apart. Now that I have everything drawn, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut along all of the lines that I just drew. You want to kind of keep the scissors open when you're cutting this part. If you just use the tip like this, see I'm squeezing really hard, it's not going to cut. You want to like feed the scissors like that, okay, and it should cut it out. Now 
Now it's time to open up the paper and see if I even made a snowflake. So you're gonna unfold it. And there we go, that looks pretty good. All right, you'll notice that if you made a line down the middle of it, it's got the same shapes on both sides, right? And even if you turned it this way, it would also be symmetrical, okay? Now it's time to start gluing the colored tissue paper on top of all of the openings of our snowflake because we're trying to make it look like a stained glass snowflake. The black paper represents the metal that's holding all the glass together and the tissue paper represents the colored pieces of glass, okay? So I'm gonna flip it over so that the side where I used pencil is gonna be the back. We're gonna use a glue stick to attach the tissue paper onto the opening of our snowflake. All right, so you pick a color and you can either tear it to fit the shape or use your scissors and cut it so it fits the opening, all right? But only glue on the back. Don't flip it over as you're working because you'll end up gluing on the wrong side. Only glue on the back. For the center, I'm gonna use blue and I'm gonna cut out a circle shape to cover up that opening, all right? When you're cutting out the tissue paper, it doesn't have to be exact, okay? And this back part is gonna be the messy part. All right, so that fits. Make sure that it covers it up. I'm putting glue around the opening where this color is gonna go. Don't put glue on the tissue paper because it'll stick to your fingers and it'll stick to the table. So only put the glue on the black paper, all right? That fits nicely. Now you're gonna move on to each shape and do the same thing. And you can tear the paper, like I said, you can cut it, okay? You can pick your favorite colors to work with. You can do all cool colors, blue, greens, and purples. You could do all warm colors, yellow, orange, and reds. You can mix them both up. You can do a rainbow, whatever you like. So I'm gonna keep working, tearing, and putting the glue around the opening and then putting the tissue paper down keeping it face down. Don't lift this up during the process. Here we go. All right, I'm all done. As you saw in the video, I cut and tore the tissue paper into larger shapes than the openings I was covering up. I put the glue stick glue on the black paper. Now this is the back where it's all messy. And then when you flip it over onto the front, you have this cool design, it's symmetrical. Um, I also tried, if I put one color on the right side, I did the same color on the left. Um, that's something that I like to do when I make these. And um, 
that's it. Now what you do is let the glue dry and then you can take a piece of clear tape and you could tape it to a window somewhere where there's a light source. And if you put it on a window and the sun comes in, it'll light up your stained glass snowflake and it'll look really nice. It's a nice decoration. This is what it looks like when you put it in front of a light source. I hope you enjoyed making the stained glass snowflake with me today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.